Thank you very much, Mr. Rabir. So I just want to for me to present uh, our safe franchise to smart bidirectional battery control and PD ESS integration for net zero energy residential building. So I am the second daughter for this uh, paper. So my uh, colleague Sandy Pan present me it. So I am here to present this paper. So this this work aims to develop uh, intelligent next generation bidirectional battery control to meet the consumer flexibility demand and the different cooperation constraints. Uh, for that, we develop more predictive control approach and we use the fact that the Newton Gregory platform uh, differencing approach and we validate uh, the results from another uh, stimulating. So this is uh, the system that we propose to consider starting to be a system for an apartment system and they are the DC, uh, DC AC con uh, inverter and then the fixed assembly the load. So this is uh, the bi-direction, the configuration that we propose for the inverter. So it's uh, here is the 10 kilowatt inverter and uh, the, in the figure below number three we will <coughs> the operation of the inverter in terms of uh, inverter mode or rectifier mode. So for the developing the model predictive control is based on the dynamic equation of the system. We use the transiting the discrete phase. First step is to discretize the equation. The second is to try to to to, uh, to predict the current of the grid in the uh, time uh, t for plus one, and for, and to uh, to generate the the, the the predicted current we use the Newton Gregory. Uh, Backward, uh, backward differential approach to estimate the voltage and then to integrate this into the equation of the currents. So here we propose the, the, the control scheme of the model predictive control. So it's a uh, predictive model, if I speak, the model set in the uh, It was a fit connected to RLN mode. Uh, there are the cost minimization function which is aiming at uh, minimizing the, the error between the predicted and the reference signal and uh, the switching pattern there. Yep. So we develop to validate the result to develop different uh, different scenarios in simulation. The first scenario is to to, uh, to increase the load from 15, 15 amps to 20 amps. So here are the voltage, the current, and here we show this uh, spot how uh, the, the, the control is uh, reacting and how it's performing when it's change of the, the, the reference of the current. The second scenario here, we uh, develop like uh, switching from uh, inverter mode to rectifier mode and how the control is reacting so here in terms of both uh, rectifier state. And the third, scenario we are uh, discussing in this paper is how to move from uh, grid connected to islanded mode. So uh, there are uh, drop in the voltage, but uh, this is due to the, to the battery, to the PSS battery and uh, how to control this to the, to the controller. But it is less than 6%. Okay, yeah, so the conclusion, so before this paper model predictive control for uh, the inverter, we uh, for the uh, reconnect, reconnect, not reconnect, yeah, reconnect inverter for instance uh, application. The, the result we have uh, simulated and uh, uh, validated for in matter simulate. Uh, so, yeah, the smooth transition results and the system for just one sensor make the hand type grid. Second battery with by directional power flow visible for load cost and uh, systems. So yeah, so in the proposal work we require to uh, improve the water stability in terms of this kind of mode. So this is the third scenario we discussed in this paper. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I try to make it very uh, quick and very mm -hmm. efficient. Thank you, thank you very much. Do we have any questions? Yeah. 
Thank you. Nice presentation. So, Thank you. as the same task can be accomplished with classical DI control, what is the motivation behind deploying uh, an MVC? Okay. So, first, the system is not uh, linear. In terms of uh, PI control, you have to get linear, linear system. When you, when you design a PI controller, it's linearized in, uh, I would say, in the operating points. If you change the operating point, you lose the analysis and stability analysis. So with the MPC, you get you get uh, better performance system and uh, performance and different operating points. This is one of the, uh, I would say, objective of the uh, pros of the MPC compared to. So, the what is the source of nonlinearity? Maybe. The reality is for the equation, the equation of the system. If you look at the state space modeling of the inverted field system of the model. But in industry, I, I agree with you that there are huge a lot of PI, but there are many approach now in terms of linear control that we have made to invest in, let's say, single phase, three phase, and uh, analyze the uh, mechanical converter. So that's where we're trying to investigate into Thanks. Um, any more questions? So have you considered that um, you are considering perturbation of the output? Have you considered the perturbations of the impact of the input, which I think is a battery? Yes, the battery system, because the battery has mm -hmm. this, um, I would say, the, 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 the voltage, mm -hmm. so it will impact. So because the battery voltage is depending on the charge, mm -hmm. so yes. it will impact. So did you analyze that? Uh, it should be for the work of the product. Okay. And yeah, so the MPC has pros and cons. Of course, as any control laptop, so the pros is uh, the most good, it's simple. The cons is like it's uh, very sensitive to uh, the parameter of the system. You know? And then you have to understand how, how to analyze how we can improve the, this, I would say, robustness of the MPC. Maybe by estimating the, the parameter of the system are going like this into the control approach. Okay, well, thank you very much for your presentation.